Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll show you how you can downgrade GTA 4 to an earlier patch version for better compatibility with mods or if you just wanting to restore some features that were patched out. Let's get into the video. The first thing we should do is create a backup of our game files. So what you'll need to do is find where your game's installed. If you downloaded it with Steam it's pretty easy, you just find GTA 4, right click, click manage and then browse local files. You can then click on the GTA 4 folder and there's all your files. As you can see if I right click the executable and go to properties and then details, you can see that this is one of the later patches. So today we'll be downgrading the game. So if we go back out to the GTA 4 folder, we're just going to copy the whole folder and then paste it. This will take about 20 gigabytes, but it's worth doing so if the downgrade process messes up your game files, you don't have to completely re-download the game. I'm just going to rename the folder to have backup at the end. Next we can close out of all these directories in Steam and open a web browser. We're going to head over to this forum link and this is where we'll download the GTA 4 downgrader software. I didn't create this but it's a great piece of software. Scroll down and find the download most recent version heading and we're going to click on the GTA 4 downgrader version 2.1. That should start the download. And once it's downloaded, we'll click on the folder icon to find where it downloaded to. It should just be in your downloads folder. We're now going to right click on the zip file that downloaded, then click extract all, and we're going to unclick show extracted files when complete. Click extract. You should now have a new folder that was extracted, double click into this folder and there's all the downgrader software. So we're going to right click on IV Downloader and select Run as Administrator. Select More Info and then Run Anyway. Once that's opened up it will give you a bunch of information about the software. You can click Next. So we need to find our GDA4 directory like we did before. So we're going to go into the GTA 4 folder that has your GTA 4 executable and copy the whole directory at the top. If you paste this into the software, it will say valid directory so long as you got the correct directory. You can click next, next again. It'll ask you if you want to move your GTA to a new location, but you don't need to, so I'll click skip. Then you can select the downgrade version that you want to downgrade to. I'm going to select the earliest version as it's best for visual modifications. You can then click Next. You can also install some optional mods. I recommend just keeping whatever is ticked by default. Just make sure download and install prerequisites is ticked. Click Next again and it will ask you if you want it to create a backup for you. We already did that so we won't tick that and we'll just click Downgrade. Now it will download all the required uh, files for downgrading your game and it will downgrade all the files automatically. You've just got to let it run and do all the work for you. Okay, so the downgrading process is finished, we'll click next, and then it will ask you if you want to downgrade your save files. If you don't care about your save files, you don't need to do this, but I'll show you how to do it anyway. We're going to go to File Explorer, and go to Documents, and in Documents, open the folder Rockstar Games, GTA 4, Profiles, then a bunch of numbers, and then whatever starts with SGTA, that's your save file. So keep note of where that is and then you can click Next. We're then going to select that file that we just found, navigate to it again, select the SGDA file, click Open, and then you can click the Downgrade button. That will just take a second to upload, then convert, and then it will download it for you. There we go, it's finished, so we can click Next again. Okay, so first we're going to find the converted save file, click the text there, and there it is for you. 
we're just going to copy this file then go back to the downgrader go to step 2 click on the text link there and just paste your save file in there there you go that's been downgraded for your new version and you can click next I recommend to include the recommended command line uh, modifications it's just better for your game click next and then you can click exit an important thing to note is that you need to now start GTA from the play GTA um, executable and not from Steam because if Rockstar makes an update in Steam it might undo the downgrade so if you send this uh, file to your desktop just start GTA 4 from this file every time okay so I've just renamed that if we go to the file location back to our game files and right click on GTA 4 go to properties and then details you can see that was successfully downgraded GTA 4 so now I'm just going to start the game from the executable on my desktop and we'll see how it goes okay so the downgrade definitely worked because I'm missing episodes from Liberty City so I'll start the game and we'll make sure it works okay so as you can see the game started up fine it runs normally and we've successfully downgraded our game version if this video has been helpful please consider liking and subscribing and comment down below if you have any questions or can't get something to work and I'll try and get back to you if you'd like to support the channel please consider supporting me on coffee as it really helps Thanks for everything guys and I'll see you in the next video.